remove it. No, sorry. It kind of like looks up under my arm, my eyes. Here, that's like a straight look. You like now? We are alone. Okay, fine. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Fame Weekly Talk. We're going to be talking about the food, the art, the music, and the environment. That is my opening line every time, okay? Just reminding you guys what fame is all about. And today's theme, do you like it dirty? Personally, I really don't. It depends, though. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Anyway, Mishka Makte, that is my name, all right? And I'm going to be keeping you guys company for about two hours. Could be an hour and a half. It depends. Of course, I want to say hey to the fame crew. We have Margaret behind the scene. And, of course, we have Badu, all right? Also behind the scene, making sure that we get some tea and some alcohol and everything else to drink, okay? So, today, we are going to be chatting with Dr. You see my paper here? There it is. <laughs> with Dr. Um, Tanya Austin, all right, of Chi Flow. She's located in New York. She's going to be talking all about yoga, all right? Traditional Chinese medicine. And, of course, for art, we have... Adriana, did I get it? Adriana Simone, all right? All about Seymour, all about zero waste art. Listen, if you guys have never, ever even heard of her, shame on you, all right? She does this beautiful paper art. Every time I see her, I'm always so impressed with her work. And for music, we have Gay Taff. Yeah, Gay Taff. <laughs> I'm so used to saying tap. Okay, gay tape. So she's going to be talking to us all about music and healing through sound. This one I'm excited for as well. You know, all about the gong bath kind of thing. I love it. And to close it all off, we have Amal Chaim. Did I get it? I'm hoping that I did. So she teaches us yoga. Yes, she does. At the Eco um, Lodge. That's where we're going to be heading to do some yoga classes all right so they're going to be joining us and of course you're going to be joining us as well so make sure that you spread the word and tell a friend tell a family pass the app share the app make sure that you guys do that all right and get the word out fame weekly talk we're going to be doing it every friday no every sunday what is wrong with me every sunday we are going to be doing it here on this instagram live page all right make sure that you guys also follow us fame Barbados, Fame Festival underscore Barbados. I need a sip of something. Maybe this is a. Mmm. Oh, wow. So this tea has in some turmeric and ginger. It's so a sop leaf and something else. What is it? Something I feel something is missing from it. Moranga. That's what it is. It's moranga, right? Yeah. So, also want to say happy birthday to everyone that is celebrating a birthday. We're all about celebrating life here on this channel, okay? Just hope you guys know that for sure. Also want to say happy birthday to my mom. She celebrated her birthday yesterday. Yay! Happy birthday to Pantaleo. He celebrated his birthday yesterday as well. So happy birthday to all you July born, all right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So guys, are you ready for this? Yes. Remember this week's theme, do you like it dirty? Do you really like it dirty? That's what it is, all right? It's all about cleansing, all about cleaning our bodies, our mind, our spirit, our soul. And we're doing it through food, through art, through the music, ah, oh, the sound healing, ah. Oh, and of course, the environment, both inner and outer environment, all right? Oh yeah, Mishka Makte, that is my name, just in case you forgot. We got a great show for you, all right? Like I said before, we're going to be chatting with Dr. Tanya Austin from Chi Flow. She's going to let us know all about this cleansing through food that she's doing, okay? Yes, and Adriana Simone. We're all about zero waste art. Listen, it's going to be a good one. Of course, we have Gay Tafe. There you go. Mm -hmm. Healing through sound and the environment. We have Amal. Yeah, she teaches us yoga at the Eco Lifestyle Lodge, okay? So, who do we up who do we have up first? Dr. Tanya Austin. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Are you guys following Fame? Make sure that you follow them, all right? Fame. Yeah, that's all I need to say. You get it, right? Yes. Okay. So, we are right. You see our technical person here? Are you trying to be off camera? No, there she is. There she is. Mm hmm. I like that we have an entire crew here. You have no idea how this works. We have an entire crew here. 
Can't miss me today in my green shirt. Oh, wow, there she is. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? Fine, thank you, Dr. Tanya Austin. Thank you so much for joining us here. Welcome to the Fame family. Yes. Should I welcome you again? You were here last year doing massages at the festival. So welcome again. <laughs> yes, and I miss you guys. I'm so envious that you guys are there oh, and I am here. It's beautiful, man. <laughs> because this is a new day. I know, right? I see all the pictures. I just saw you guys at the cliff on your um, posting oh. and I was so envious. I'm like, oh my God, that was me last year. <laughs> you again this year, you know, just in a matter of months. Well, you know. All right. I was I was supposed to be there two weeks from now, but I heard that they shut all the plane. They yeah, they closed the borders to the U.S. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you We're know, so I had to reshuffle my dates. We're sending you love and hugs, man. Love oh, and hugs. I'm taking it all. No I'm taking way. it all. We're gonna go to the beach and drink some um, cocktails on you, and we're gonna think about you while we're doing this. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about yourself, man. Oh, yeah. So um, whew, about 10 years ago, um, I did a life change thing. I decided it's time for me to align my life with my philosophy and my way of being. And so I left corporate America and I went to Chinese medicine school. Wow. Yeah. Six years, hardcore, straight, full time. Uh, yeah. I, you know, after about 18 months, I was like, what did I get myself into? But I was already knee deep. Right. So I'm committed. I'm going to see it through. Mm -hmm. This stuff is just fascinating. And, um, you know, a decade later, here I am wow. uh, as a practitioner. I also did massage therapy. So I worked in tandem with uh, with Chinese medicine, which is not only, you know, herbs, but also acupuncture and cupping and twain, which is like a type of massage, gua sha. So there are a lot of disciplines within the umbrella of Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. But most people know, are more familiar with like herbs and um, needles, yeah. like the needles, acupuncture needles. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been, been a pretty amazing journey. Life transforming, I can and, just say that. And, and no regrets whatsoever. <laughs> None. Absolutely not. Wow. Absolutely not. You know, my little side joke is that, you know, being in corporate America and being into the natural lifestyle that I'm into mm -hmm. kind of makes you lead like a schizophrenic life, right? Oh you, you have that persona. Well, it's a joke. You know, I don't mean seriously. It's like you go to work and you're like playing this corporate stoic kind of it's a different world, right? Corporate is very structured and, and it, everything is um, a formula and by the book. And then you go to Chinese medicine and it's all about, well, the person in front of you is who you're treating. Yeah. It's not formulaic and it's not one pill fits all. It's like, what are you presenting to me? What is your challenge and how can I assist you? Wow. You know, so that's like a completely different way of thinking. Um, and approaching life, right? Yeah. So, wow. Now I'm one person. <laughs> I don't have to walk around, you know, like, what hat do I wear now yeah. for the next eight hours? Oh, let me take off this hat and put on this hat now. Wow. Such a freeing feeling, isn't it? It surely is. Definitely. Like, I feel like I really found all of myself now. Wow. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Good for you. You know? Well, thank you. And congratulations, you guys, because I can see this is a full-fledged TV show waiting to unfold. Oh, yeah, for and sure. And I'm so happy to be a contributor. Yeah, you guys are doing it. Yeah, we're so happy to Fame. have you as well. Yeah, babe. Yeah, man, y'all are doing it. The, the, <laughs> okay. the heroes on the island, yes, you know, so yes. let's get into it. Yes, we so love it, man. Okay, so our theme is all about... Um, do you really like it dirty? No pun intended whatsoever, all right? So <laughs> we're talking about cleansing. That's really what it is. And um, yeah. and we, we can do this through herbs, of course. I'm going to let you tell us about yeah. um, a cleanse that I heard through the rumor mill that you did Ugh. through food. Child, yes. 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 Tell us about this cleansing. Foods and herbs. It's important for us to, to be cleansed. You know what I mean? Well, you know... 
think of it this way, right? We live every day and we consume, whether it's through our eyes, through our ears, through our mouths. We're constantly putting in, putting in, putting in. And just as we take time to sit in meditation or do yoga or go for a walk in the countryside, we're taking time out of our day to allow the body to kind of just be and feel mm -hmm. and not be distracted by all these other things. Well, detoxing is, in my understanding, is that very same thing, right? Um, abstaining from the normal pattern of consumption and habitual eating, you know, because we eat things that we like a lot, right? And so when we detox, <laughs> when we detox, um, it's really us consciously making a decision to stop the pattern in, mm -hmm. stop the gorging and the intaking of these foods that we consume in excess that we love, that throw things out of balance, or eating the wrong foods that are just kind of like asking the body just to do too much mm -hmm. in order to just function. Yeah. Right? And so um, I left the States and I came to Barbados for a couple of years and that was a whole change of dietary approaches, right? In America, you don't have access to the live foods in the vast plentiful, um, in the abundance that you have in Barbados. In Barbados, you can go out your back door and pick something and put it in your stomach. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the beauty of living there. So I, I had to make an adjustment and I noticed that my body, um, it was having a, a period of adjustment because my bowels didn't want to regulate normally. Mm. Um, you know, uh, or I would eat certain foods and I would get like responses that would tell me that my body's having a hard time adjusting. Like for instance, um, gas, right, or inability to digest something, and, that, um, and it wasn't that the food itself was wrong, because I was eating as natural as possible, like straight off the land, straight off the tree, straight out the water, if it's the fish, you know, trying to stay as close to live vitality as possible, but I, I came to understand that I was still holding food, or holding the remnants or the byproducts of an old dietary um, intake and that was that um, I was eating a lot more meat when I was in the States and so meat takes a longer time to process, process through the system yeah. right um, also my system was going through a level of shock of oh my god all this live fresh food juicing you know they're like what's going on <laughs> down there the intestines are in shock we like it but we can't catch up you're moving too fast right <laughs> So I had to like take a break, a timeout. And um, the timeout, what I thought would have been a two week detox. And this just goes to speak to the amount of clearance I had to do turned into two and a half months. What? Yes, I know it sounds insane guys. Um, and I was not a fat person or I wasn't even like an under, underweight person. So I must be very clear with everyone to let people know that it has nothing to do with like if you're excessive in one area or, or deficient in another area in regards to making a decision to detox. It's about giving your body a chance to kind of exhale mm -hmm. and reset. Wow. Right. So anybody can do this. And, I, and I've done it now um, two years in a row consistently, meaning that every January I just choose it as being my time of reset. Some people choose January to make their New Year resolution. Well, I don't even make the resolution because for me, resolutions are things to be broken. Really? Because most people have a hard time. Well, most people have a hard time keeping up with making a tall list of things that they want to do and That's actually true. carrying out all of them. So rather than put myself under the cosh, as we say in England, I'm just going to like just take action day one. Let's detox and let's just like jump in feet first all the way in. Wow. And so um, I did a herbal detox. For three months or it's two and a half months? Two and a half, yeah, two and a half months. Okay. And I, I'll tell you why, yeah. Um, it was because of what I was beginning to release from my body. And I, 
And when I saw how much I was releasing, I realized that this was something that uh, if I'm going to do it, I need to do it all the way. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got to fire the camera woman here. You're fired. I'm just kidding. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and then you hire her back. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead, honey. So two and a half months, you did that. Just let me know um, if you can remember, because this was a few years ago, right? Um, yeah. It, it's, it's a conscious decision that you made because obviously your body was not responding to the same, you know, compared to you eating so much, pro I'm assuming, you know, like you said, you would eat meat before and now you're eating all these live fruits, you know, um, um, live foods is what you call it. And um, the changes. So in within two and a half months, you obviously you saw the changes in your body. Oh, dramatically. Wow. The first change was the bloating, just, it was like seeing um, a balloon deflate. What? Yeah. So uh, to give you an idea, mm -hmm. right, by day six of my uh, detox, because the detox, obviously, there's a process of elimination. So there was a mild, um, it was a mild laxative, but gentle, not to the point where you're like, oh, my God, I got to go to the bathroom. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to mess myself. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't there. <laughs> I always have to preempt it. No, it's not, it's not a messy thing. It's very gentle. And, okay. and um, I worked with uh, someone right there in Barbados. So I'll be sure to definitely give you the contact information oh, you can um, tell where, us where I got my herbs. I'm pretty sure. You know, you can call oh, yeah. Well. It's in my Lord's Hill. I, like, yeah. It's, um, I'm sure everyone's familiar with Heru. Um, he, oh, yeah, that's... from Healing Earth Life Products, yes. right there in My Lord's Hill, 80 My Lord's Hill. So he has a male and a female detox 14 day program. Mm -hmm. So, um, I saw what he was doing. I liked his products. I had used his products before and I trusted him with his formulations. And so I definitely, uh, defer to him okay. because you know in Barbados you don't have the resources that you have in the states where you can like for me I would go down to the Chinese pharmacy in Chinatown and I would just get my formulation put together wow. right you just tell them what you want you get formulation put together I didn't have that luxury so the next best thing for me was to go to someone that had a vast knowledge and array of supplies and products and that was Heru from um, Help Healing Earth Life Products right once again, 80 My Lord's Hill, right across from the gas station. You know, he does a lot of services in there. So you guys should check him out. He's a great resource. And so um, day six now of my detox. And because I'm coming from a medical background, I was commode diving. I have no shame. Mm. I put on my gloves yeah. and I was looking and examining my movement. Yeah. I You're need to know what's to coming out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you should every now and again just kind of like do a little look and see, okay, does it look normal? Is it braided? Is it soft? Is it mucusy? The color. What's really happening? There's nothing. Right, the color. There. there you go. You know, it's true. Is it chocolate, milk chocolate? Is it dark chocolate? <laughs> does that? it have a little moringa green mixed in with it? Yeah, <laughs> it's Let's be it's real. Like, oh, it's fine. It's, no, it's natural. It's, it's supposed normal. to. Yeah, exactly. So by day six, I was seeing um, mucus with with um, things in it, I wow. should say, brown stringy looking, looking things wow. in it. And I won't hor horrify you by showing you the picture. You but picture? Um, what? <laughs> I had to take a picture. I had a document yeah. because I need to enlarge it and look at it and really see what's going on. But that was kind of the beginning of like, a commitment to not stopping until I saw a complete normal, a completely normal bowel movement. Okay, so hold on. So what were you eating while you, while you were on this detox? I was eating pure fruits and vegetables. That's it. For two and a half months? Um, oh, yeah. And it's like, you can do this. Because, you know, you have to think about it. Okay, in the morning, let's think about our day, right? We get up in the morning, um... You might do a fruit bowl or, or you might juice. Mm -hmm. It depends on like what your thing is, right? 
For me, I would alternate between the two because some mornings I might not go for a run or walk in the, in the country at the time I was in St. Peter. So I would, um, on those mornings that I would go and do my run and stretch and stuff in the country, then obviously I'm going to want something liquidy, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll juice. On those mornings that I more did like my yoga and stretches on the, on the patio or on the lawn, um, then I would want to sit with something, you know, like a fruit bowl or something, you know, local, obviously, something in season, something that's local. Wow. And then I might still do like a Moringa powder shake, you know, mid-morning with some nuts. Oh, my God. And we're talking about like, you know, like some roasted almonds. I might do some cashews, you know, I might do some edamame, which is, um, you know, your soybean pods. You might do some edamame pods with some uh, Himalayan salt or something like that. Um, so believe me, we consume so much more food than we really need because we are always thinking about this plate that we need to fill. Yeah. When we, we should really consider migrating to eating food for sustenance, what is it going to give us? What do we need to function for our day? Um, what are we more deficient in? Are we not getting enough greens? Do we need to pile up my greens on an extra, an extra portion today because I haven't eaten greens in three days and I've been eating too many carbs. You know, our sweet potatoes, our plantains, our potatoes, our pasta. Because I, you know, I know some plates are filled with meat and carbs. And then we kind of think, oh, salad. Oh, I ate salad yesterday or I ate vegetables yesterday. But we need a little bit of everything wow. to keep ourselves in diet. So, you know, the things that... Um, the things that you would look for that would signify, um, do I need to do a detox, would be like possibility. These are things that may pop up, right? You may have like headaches, mm -hmm. like headaches that are like discomfort, discomforting, like not just, oh, I've got a mild headache because I'm tired. No, we're talking about like throbbing headaches, tension headaches. You know, that could be a lot of things. That could be a uh, level of toxicity within yourself because you're eating too much of one thing. You might be eating too much dairy and you don't realize that you've got lactose intolerance. You might be eating too much sugar. You might be dehydrated. You know, these are all things that tell you that there is an imbalance going on. Oh my um, you might have a respiratory issue or sinus issues because you're, the dairy is creating too much mucus. You know, so you might have, like, your bronchioles might have too much mucus, which is your, your lungs, right? Or your sinuses might be clogged, and you might be doing a lot of sneezing and itching, and, you know, that funny noise we make when we're trying to itch the back of our throat. I mean, that, that noise could everybody be a sign. makes. It's so popular here. <laughs> yes. I mean, every, I've never, in all honesty, I know, in, I, I don't know if I've never um, brought attention to it um, in St. Vincent, but here... A lot. I, I, so you, you, you would hear people doing it a lot, and I'm like, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is happening? What is happening? Wow. There's a yeah. There's a level a level of uh, irritability happening in the system, and you can't get to it. So you're constantly trying to like itch the back of your throat, and really, that's just like mucus and and dry particle irritation from the atmosphere, or you're dehydrated. And your membranes are dry and they're irritated, you know, so you need to hydrate, you need to flush. Wow. And I think sometimes we just take this for granted, you know what I mean? Not knowing that exactly. we assume have such an impact on us, right? Wow. So the yep. doctor, so you, so you recommend detoxing for sure? Yeah, I think it's a good reset for the system. Okay. Because when you have a lot of mucus production in your body, and we eat a lot of sweets too, so... That's like the number one. Besides the fact that a lot of sugar intake, you know, messes with our mood, mm. right? It gives you that quick high. You're like charged up on overdrive, like zinging. And then when the sugar's exactly, it's like the death fall. Like, oh my God, I can't move. I what need to I sleep. Done? Why am I so tired? What have I done? Oh no, you're crashing. You've had oh. too much sugar. But then what happens to the inside of your body when you're eating all this sugar? 
you know, your blood becomes heavy, believe it or not, because there's like this, uh, I like to describe it as being like liquidy jello, because there's a weightiness that happens from all the mucus that gets produced and, and, and becomes heavy in the blood because there's so much sugar content. And then your body has to work overdrive to create, um, produce insulin so that it can metabolize the sugar out of your blood and put it in storage. So you see, there's like this whole cascade of things that happens to your body that you're asking your body to do that's out of its normal range on a regular processing so normal that sugar. you don't realize. Okay. Right, right. And then because that leads to heavy blood, your heart's working extra mm. to push this heavy blood around your body. So it's like this ongoing cascade, mm. right? So the other thing that we can talk about is... Um, when you're not eating properly or not eating enough hydrating foods and you're not drinking enough water, you've got constipation. So how are we supposed to move out these things out of our bowels once they're processed if we're not staying hydrated enough? Oh, wow. So that right? was the key to so, stay hydrated. Staying hydrated and eating food that's able to move out the system with the hydration aids that, right? Okay. And, and because, you know, when you say food that moves it out of the system, can you just like give us just, like, an example? Right. Them? So it can be, so the hydration could be something as simple as like cucumber, cucumber juice, mm -hmm. um, watermelon right. is great for hydration, juicing with watermelon. Um, Something as simple as like lightly salted popcorn as a snack. Popcorn is great for sweeping the intestines. Really? Popcorn? Or just any food that has, yes. Any, I know that's so weird sounding, right? Just idea. think of it as being like, think of, it, think of your intestines being a thoroughfare that needs to get swept. Yeah. So even food that's high in fiber okay. is great for, for um, roughage. Nice. Because after the food, after the food is um, broken down out of the fibrous food, the meaty part of that that vegetable or that um, that mango or whatever fibrous food that has some level of fiber, mm -hmm. right, um, could be something simple as oatmeal. Once that has been, once the nutrients have been extracted from it and it's reabsorbed into the intestines and brought back into the system to provide nutrients, right? There's still like the fibrous part that's left in the intestinal tract. That is what gets mixed in with all of the stool development and it works as a sweeper as you move it through through the action of peristalsis. And eventually it just comes out of the um back door. You wow, know, it comes out the back door. <laughs> now we know Well we you know we gotta make it light. You gotta okay. keep it light. Wow. Alrighty so um a quick question before you go as well. We know that you're located in New York and you have your practice there yes. as well. What kind of services do you offer? Just in case you just happen to be there and we just want to check out Dr. Tanya and see what she's offering. Well I am, I will be, uh, well, COVID has shut down a lot of things, but I plan to be between New York and Maryland because uh -huh. um, I'm practice, licensed to practice both places and I have a client base in both places. But I will be coming back to Barbados okay. to do retreats and I will let you guys know when I am coming back. As I said, I was trying to come down there in two weeks for at least, uh, you know, a couple of months. Um, <coughs> wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so this went on the wrong side. What is that about? The wrong side. <laughs> oh, gosh. It happens to the best of us. Is anyone going to hit my back? I'm just kidding. No, it's fine. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'll do it from here. <sighs> I'm sorry. So you were saying, so you're going to be between Maryland and between New York. And your practice offers what exactly? Well, because of the COVID situation, everything's kind of doing going to the point of telemedicine and house calls, okay. you know, um, more to do with one-on-ones, people not coming into the office mm -hmm. because people are not moving around as much. Okay. Um, and for obvious reasons, mm -hmm. um, when it comes to Barbados, I will be bringing in groups for retreats, but also coming to the Island to do some services as well. So I will definitely keep you posted of when I'm in the Island, mm -hmm. when I am in the Island and I'm doing office calls yeah. i will be working 
uh, either in uh, at Heru's place in My Lord's Hill uh -huh. or um, in Belleville. Right. At uh, Dr. Michael Springer. So I will keep you posted on that. But I just wanted to just, be, I know we're up on time, mm -hmm. but I wanted to just talk quickly in regards to um, the types of things that you can focus on when you're detoxing, yes, right? Yes, thank so you. So if you're having, yes, yeah, so if you're having problems with uh, digestive issues, strictly digestive issues, uh, food allergies, bloating, flatulence, a.k.a. passing gas, on a regular basis and it's smelly and stinky. Oh. That's an indication that you need colon digestive formula from Heru so that you can focus on resetting your flora and fauna, which is basically your uh, microbes, your microbiomes or your probiotics in order for those good probiotics and good microbiomes to be in the intestinal tract so that you can properly break down food and get maximum absorption. Mm -hmm. So that's something that you can figure out if that's where you are. Um, liver detox. I always like liver detox in springtime because spring is the time for the liver in Chinese medicine. It's a great time to detox and reset. Yeah. As we know that the liver is a master organ for detoxing in the body, mm -hmm. so we do have to give it its opportunity to reset itself. Yeah. And also... This detox is a way of cleansing your body of parasites. Mm. Now, be mindful that there are six common parasites that can infect our body. We can get it through our foods. And it's always good to do a cleanse so we can get rid of the ringworm, the flukes, the hookworms, the tapeworms. All the worms. You name it. And yes, and I did see that in my detox. Yeah. So his 14-day male and female detox is excellent for getting rid of these parasites and these parasites are in there they're hooked into your intestinal tract wall and they're stealing your nutrients from the food that you're putting in your stomach to feed itself wow that's what so that's doing. another consideration of why yeah because they're feeding on you they're parasites wow that's so whatever you give to yourself they're also taking part oh my goodness <laughs> wow they're having a feast man oh my goodness so literally like the last supper <laughs> Now we know, oh my goodness, if you didn't know before, now you know. Make sure that you also, if you don't mind, doctor, you can just add in the comments where you can find, you know, Hiru, where he's located, of course, you know, so we can... Make oh, let there. me do that now. Yes. That yes. Part of the and I, um, yeah, because I definitely want Barbados to know that, you know, we have the, the non-communicable diseases, which... Our Prime Minister has spoken very, very eloquently. And can we just say hello and greetings and big up to Honorable Prime Minister Mia Motley for really putting the people first and the health first and, and doing all of that stuff. So My Lord's Hill, guys, My Lord's Hill at the uh, Healing Earth Life Products, mm -hmm. and I am putting in right now the address so yeah. you guys will have it. Definitely. Um, go and speak with Heru. Tell him that Chief Flow Therapeutics sent you. Yes. And um, go and get your live foods yes. from uh, your market. Support your local vendors. They're growing the food for you. Please don't let it go to waste. We're so fortunate to be able to... Um, have live food in Barbados in great abundance. And guys, Moringa is everywhere. Get your Moringa pods. Get your Moringa leaves. Consume your Moringa food. Very high in, um, that's a high quality food. High in trace minerals and all types of goodies. Like one of our superfoods that grows locally. So please do not um, negate the fact that you have this superfood there mm. and it and it's there for you to consume it's the garden of eden in barbados it guys it is the garden of eden in the caribbean i like for to real say, i'm from st Vincent, and it's the garden of eden there too <laughs> yes it's the garden thank of you eden so much for eden. having me yes, yes you guys are blessed yes thank you guys thank you so much for being a part of this we really appreciate it dr tanya stevens of chief flow thank you for stopping by and being a part of the Fame. Austin, not Stevens, but okay. Austin, my bad. Who's Stevens? Stevens is tennis, but Who's, it's okay. Who is Stevens? Dr. It's, Austin. Who's Stevens? Is yes. Oh my God. Doc, wait, I'm so used to calling you Tanya, right? Didn't even know. You know what? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> it, you know, it really, it's not, it's not really in the title, but for people to understand where we come from and 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 what our our lenses, it's you know, that's really the only reason why we use it. But we're all the same people coming with 
experiences and um, information from different segments of life and we just share. Yes. Definitely. So true. Well, thank you so much again, Dr. Tanya. Thank you for having me. Yes, you are. Yes. Welcome, all right. So um, I'll see you when you get to Barbados. Yes, I'm definitely coming. All righty. Bye, bye, guys. <laughs> Keep up the good work. You too. Ciao. Yay. Okay. So, guys, you just heard it. We're cleansing, keeping the body nice and clean through food. Go and get your detox. If you have a smelly poop, it means that you need to detox. Okay? There you go. Anyway, guys, up next, we, well, we're going to be back in about two seconds okay we're gonna um make sure that this video is loaded and saved and then of course join me in a few minutes yeah you're gonna make sure that you guys log on again and join me again we are gonna be talking about it right here the art aspect of fame on the fame weekly talk we have adriana simone we all about the arts all right zero waste art See you guys in a bit. Oh, wow. She